I never know how to start these videos. I was going to tell a joke about diarrhea and the Colorado bud slide, but I thought it was too soon. I didn't think it was too soon. I was going to tell it, but I don't want hate mail. I'm going to do a review of The Haunting of Helena. Um, goddamn most frustrating movie I've seen in a while. It, it has the potential to be great, and then it just totally fails at it. Kind of like my first video and every career I've ever had. The Haunting of Helena is a real basic horror movie story. Sophia and her daughter Helena move into an apartment after Sophia gets divorced. Uh, the apartment has a dark past because, you know, in horror movie land, everything has a dark past. It must suck to sell real estate if you live in a horror movie. And uh, the apartment's haunted by this weird toothless ghost that wants teeth. Helena becomes obsessed with the ghost. Sophia becomes obsessed with solving the mystery. Nothing you can't read on the internet. What you can't experience on the internet is the agonizing boredom that I had to go through to review this movie for you. So please be thankful for this one, okay? Because this movie goes nowhere like a fat kid running track. You get a little bit of ghosty fun, like, oh, there's a ghost floating down a hallway. And then they break into these, what felt like hour long expositions of, oh, this ghost is this and psychological that. And seriously, I sat there flipping off the TV almost the whole time. And yes, I flip off my TV. I also spit at it. I'm trying to break myself of that habit because I don't want to mop, but, um, it's just like, it's so frustrating because you're like, yeah, the fucking ghost is going to come. It's going to rip some people's teeth out because it doesn't have its own and it wants teeth. No. And then it's Sophia, the, the lady who plays Sophia. I didn't bother memorizing her name because she's fucking wallpaper. It just goes into her talking and she has this general body language that's so horrible. It's like she's trying to hold in a fart on the first date. And my biggest complaint about this movie, and I know, I know this is going to be... Uh, people are going to think this is petty, but this is a serious complaint I have. The girl who played Helena, 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 she's ugly, okay? I cannot cheer for ugly children in movies. I can't do it. If I see an ugly kid in a movie, I want him to fucking die. All right, not in real life. I don't want your kids to die, and I know your kids are ugly. I've seen them on Facebook, and I've seen them on Instagram. They're all horrible goblin children, but... I, and I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I honestly don't. But, like, if I'm watching a movie and there's, a, like, a little grrr face kid, like, fucking kill that bastard. Chainsaw his fucking head open. I don't, I don't know. Chainsaw his ass open. Something. Anyway, that's what we've got for tonight. Skip this movie. Um, oh, and I wanted to talk about a couple other things that are coming up. Uh, Angry Men's really jumping up with these reviews. We've got a lot of them coming out. Uh, we've got some giveaways coming up. We might do um, a big promo for Godzilla via Adam, um, assuming I don't lick his phone and give him the plague too. Um, we're just going to have to see what happens over the next month, but we've got some big, exciting shit coming up. Speaking of big, exciting shit, I got an appointment with the crapper, so I'll see you next time. Night-night.